Hello, I'm FBX Sleeker and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. This is the Let's Play where I've been playing through the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the Xbox. Building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And today, I'm going to be, first of all, actually telling these stories that I said I would last week, the Minecon thing. I want to explain Minecon 2015 because I just had a story about the catering that I wanted to tell, but like, by the time I realised it was the end of last week, so don't worry, Minecon catering story. But more importantly, today, while I tell such a story, and maybe more, I wanted to also solve a problem I've had in my Let's Play world for a while because I like having sheep around in the world. Like as you can see, I've got a sheep here. I've probably got like a sheep somewhere, you know, in this pen somewhere. There, there's a gray sheep, but I love having sheep in my world. But I have the big problem of like, I made this big fence, this big dugout with the core goal being keep dogs from getting in. However, there's one big issue I realized, which is that wolves will always seem to get into my pen. And you might have this exact same problem in your Minecraft world where, oh yeah, if you keep sheep in a big space, eventually wolves will just find their way in. They always find a way in, whether they spawn in there, whether they jump in there, there's always something going on. And no matter what you seem to do, it seems to be a flawed issue. And although I worked out what the problem was, like when I really, really started thinking about it, like about, you know, a few hours ago, I then started to realize like, what if, you know, just in case that isn't the issue, what if we fixed every single possible way that wolves could spawn in a place and we make the maximum security sheep prison or like sheep safety pen? I don't know whether I want to go with prison or safety pen. Like, am I a benevolence these sheep or am I like a real jerk that locks them up? I'm not sure yet, but I am going to be using a lot of, uh, you know, stone and I'm going to be making a sort of prison, which I'm going to be keeping, uh, you know, sheep safe in and it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you all do agree. So with that said, let's get straight into it. I've decided already I'm going to be building it over a body of water and the only body of water I can find like anywhere near, you know, the rest of my builds, which I have stuff, is probably this thing right here or a big ocean. But I figured a lake is a really good place because a lake is like a local, you know, area. It's harder to break into a lake than it is for an ocean. And in case you're curious, it's like, Toy Cat, what do you mean break into a lake? Well, I think what would be kind of fun is if I built this entire prison style thing over the uh, lake because that way, um, like I said, I wanted to make it so that dogs can cannot get in at all. There's no possible way they can get in. So I want to have like some form of redstone mechanism to get in. Then I want to make it so that there's no, uh, you know, it's not going to be over forest. As you can see, this is actually a swamp right here, or at least it looks like it's a swamp. It's a swamp over there, it's a swamp over here. So presumably the lake is too. If it's not, then it's a lake, so separate stuff. Uh, so it's going to be a biome which isn't a forest, so no wolves could spawn there anyway. Then we're going to make it so that we use half snaps. Uh, we don't have any on us, but we can craft those uh, on the, uh, you know, the grass itself to stop that from happening, which by the way, we'll collect grass from around here because we need to dig down this mountain anyway. And uh, then we'll actually, you know, have some redstone mechanisms. And I just want to make this the most secure way to stop dogs getting in. And I think it'd be a fun project for anyone else who's been frustrated by this too. So the very first thing you have to do, realizing that it's going to be a lake, let's just assume this is a perfectly oval lake. It's not, because you can see there's a jut there, which means we have to work out the middle of it to build our entrance, I guess. So yeah, we're going to have the entrance be... Uh, I guess the middle of this lake looks like it'd be about, I guess, we can eyeball it because it's not a precise measurement. I think it'd be something like here, maybe, and then on this side, over to like there. Does that sound about right? I, I That looks about right to me. Maybe, I would, I would wager like probably a block further this way, then a block further that way. And then also, one other thing to make things easier for myself, is that the whole, uh, even though the water's down there, one thing I've learned about these Frostwalker boots from last week, is that trying to build with Frostwalker, at uh, the level of the ocean, i.e. if I replace this and replace it with stone, that is just frustrating on a level that you don't appreciate till you do it. So instead what I'll be doing is I'll be building on top of the ice, and that means I guess I have to go up a block here, so a block up there, and a block up there, and then this is going to be like my base level. So we'll just ignore all these blocks that aren't up there, and we'll like fill them in later, like, or with something. But yeah, that means for now we've got two points, there's going to be a redstone mechanism here. I think we can go for a simple one, like, oh yeah, redstone mechanism is just door of pistons. I, I, you know, in fact, I really like just the door of pistons. I've, I haven't done that, like, since pistons first came out. And then that means between those two things, we're going to have, like, two kind of guard towers. So we'll have them be kind of like, you know, fancy castle towers, but also, I guess, guard towery too. So to do that. So, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of build, again, I really want to focus on just building this one there up here, wherever I can. And if we can't, then we'll build up to it. So we'll just go for, like, a castle, like the three by one by three kind of thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm just being crazy, it's fine. But yeah, I want to then do this around here. Uh, I guess it's best for us to, in fact, we'll get a second block because we don't need the shovel right now, or we don't need that shovel for sure. And then that way we can use this as like a filler block because I feel like I'm wasting stone if I waste it here. But if we use stone and then cobblestone, it's easier to work out what you're not using and what you are. And then also it's easier to like 
build along it. So again, three by one by three, get a nice circle. And then these can be like two guard towers that will work out from. We'll have a big fence going all the way around the lake. And then we'll have like some dirt and some fences and stuff inside. Cause again, I want this to be maximum security for my sheep. I, <laughs> I honestly feel like sometimes in Minecraft, like sometimes you've got to build a build that's like entirely practical. But when something really gets on your nerves, like in my case, this whole sheep thing, I feel like, you know, going overboard and fixing it is kind of a cathartic thing, right? Like sometimes, you know, most, most things you can address rationally, like, oh yeah, well, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go and eat. You shouldn't be like, I'm hungry, and it feels like the hunger's never going away, so I'm gonna order 16 breakfast wraps at McDonald's. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, not that I've ever done that. Although once, actually, <laughs> I was hungry, so I've, I've, I've ordered, like, I don't know, maybe, like, six chicken mayos, and I was like, I could totally eat that. And by, you know, I'll be honest, by the time you're on, like, your, your fifth burger, you're eating for the sake of eating the burgers. And it's kind of like that with this. I'll probably get halfway through and realize, like, this is overkill. But then by going through the process of doing too much, I want to believe that we'll be a better person on the other side. That's that's my belief, at least. So, yeah, that's that's the goal as we go through all of this. So, yeah, it's like like always, while we build this, because these are the base of my towers, I guess. And this is the, the center part, I guess. Uh, I guess we need to remove this block here. Since that the ba uh, so that's the base and this is the center part. Actually, wait. No, 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 I've, I've got this right. So, yeah, then this will be the floor level. We'll have, like, a row of pistons there, a row of pistons up there, something up above. Uh, now we need to have, like, a wall going around it, and then once we get the pattern down, we can start to talk stuff. Because one of the things I've noticed, actually, is if I'm doing something really, like, intensive in Minecraft, it just takes up all my, like, mental capacity to, like, talk about things. So I'll just be like, so... Yeah, and that's that's why, you know, going to McDonald's when you're hungry is like dog food, am I right? Yeah, and, and you know, sometimes I'll be like, wait a minute, I'm just like, I'm doing the thing that sometimes people do when they're like, I, I know, so you, you know how some people just only speak in like phrases they've heard? So like, ah, and that's just how the cookie crumbles. And you're like, you know, have you, have you said something that isn't just, you know, line from a movie in the past, like ever? And the answer's like, probably no and stuff. But it's kind of like that, but like, I do it with my own phrases of like, ah, and, um, I can't even think of what they are right now. Like, generally speaking, and practically speaking, and realistically, there's a lot of words like I overuse and like trying to not overuse them and also trying to, so we'll go all the way out to like here, so one more block out, and then this will be the corner, and then go up to there, and then we'll do the same thing over there. So we need to count these blocks, then we'll go to sleep, and then I'll tell you about Minecon, don't worry, I want to tell you about the catering. It's, <laughs> it's a really minor thing, but I swear, it's like one of the best realizations of my life, because in fact, I can tell you right now, because I can count seven, Hopefully, again, we'll test my own intellect right here. Cause I, I, this is something you should try for yourself. Like, can you do an intensive task and also talk? Because, uh, you know, it's, it's like a well-known like societal fact. I don't know if it's real or not, but like girls can multitask, right? And therefore they can talk while also uh, telling you about catering at Minecon. But, uh, you know, like for, for me, like trying to do the two things at once, it's just like, well, one of the things is gonna suffer. Let's just hope that it's not the thing that you care about more. Cause it's funny on this Let's Play, like a lot of people a lot of people love it as a podcast, and for those of you listening right now as a podcast, or while you play Minecraft, or, you know, I think a lot of you listen while you play Minecraft, because I feel like podcast and Minecraft is like, sure way to do things, then, hello, ho hope you're enjoying that gameplay you're seeing that isn't mine. It's all good, I'm just, I'm just going to sleep right now, so you, you're not even missing anything. Anyway, so with that said, let me tell you about, because we got all the stuff down, let me tell you about the catering at Minecon, because I, I built it up now to be a huge story, like, oh, I told you last week, and then I told you this week, so let me just clarify, it's not a big story, it was just a really minor thing, because when I went to the last Minecon, I was a panelist, which means, like, to some extent, like, I guess, VIP is not a word I want to use, but, like, in my head, sure, let's, let's just go for VIP, right? Like, I was a very, very important person, as it turns out, but, no, in seriousness, there's, like, you know, there, there's no, you know, like, distinction between, like, staff and all that sort of stuff, and me, who was just someone who was, like, playing against 4J for a panel. So, as a result, I got to go into, like, the VIP area, I guess, and because this is Cali that was California at the time, the last of Minecon, it looks like, was held in California, fun fact. Because it was in California, uh, obviously they had all like the the same like caterers that would do something like an acting shoot or like a you know a film shoot I guess is what you'd call it, not an acting shoot. But um, yeah, that, and, and the crazy thing that I realised from that is that um, so we'll place some blocks up here, and then we'll have the cobblestone go all the way back along the lake, and then hope that it looks okay. And if it doesn't, then we'll cry. But yeah, uh, basically. Uh, because I realized this is like the same catering as like the movies and stuff. Um, I had like the best food or like the best pasta, the best whatever else I probably had ever had at this, you know, like event where there's just free catering. Like, you know, I, I, I didn't even know there was food in there. I was just like, oh yeah, there's this room you can go to and like, you might want to, you know, chill out from the day or like do this or that. 
and uh, yeah, just go to that room and do so. And the, the crazy thing I realized as I went and did so is that it had the best food ever, and I just wanted to like not eat any other food in the world and just go there, three meals a day, like, you know, go in just as I come in, try and go in like at lunchtime, try and go in before I leave, um, because seriously, like, Okay, it's something, so, you, you know, like, how you know how you hear, like, on movie sets, like, there's always these big catering rooms, and, like, you can speak to the directors, or this or that, or whatever. It's crazy that I realized, like, you know what, the reason you'd want to go in there, the reason you'd never just go out and get your own food, is because, one, I guess, if you're an actor, it's probably paid for in some way, and two, because, I, I don't know, like, who makes the food, but, you know, like, set catering, or whatever, it's, it's top-notch stuff, and I, you'd figure there'd be a market for, like, making mediocre quality products, like, at school, because I always pictured it'd be, like, you know, a school canteen, or like, at the very least, like an American movie school canteen, where it's just like, oh yeah, well there's some mediocre food, but at least there's Taco Fridays, right? Again, that's just a Americanism that I'm assuming everyone had of some form. But it's it's crazy that like, yeah, there's there was just top-notch food. And I wanted to share that so badly because it was one of those moments where I felt special, not because of any of like the any the weird stuff going down or like this or that. Like it was it was humbling whenever I met a fan that was like, oh yeah, it was cool. Eh? I know from this, this and that, and I've been watching since that long, and we're like, wow, that's awesome. But the the real crazy moment where I was like, you know, this is this is where I'm like kind of a big deal, is when there was just there was just free good food, and don't even question it because you know it's it's probably fine. You can probably trust this guy, and it's it's weird to me that that's <laughs> that was the the point I raised. But anyway, there you go. There's there's in my Minecon story. I'm, I'm sorry if I built it up to be a bigger thing. If you'd like, I can make up a fake story about how like oh yeah, and then I secretly stole this terrible thing when I went to the bathroom. And uh, it was, you know, I, I I could pretend something like that, but I didn't really. Although actually, this is, um, it's like a minor annoyance of mine. But it's weird, being a YouTuber, like just the, the mere notion of being someone who was uh, obviously on YouTube in some way, was like enough to make you a celebrity. I never, I never understood that, like, I guess that's like the new thing in this generation. But it, I, even if I like heard that someone was an actor, or someone famous that you meant to just like, I still would never be like, oh, that guy is an actor? Wow. But like, it's weird that like at Minecon, a lot of people would be like, oh yeah, you're a YouTuber, therefore I don't care who you are, please can you sign something or take a picture of me or something? And so if you don't know who I am, I could just be a random stranger. And <laughs> it's funny because I had like someone who was, you know, a smaller YouTuber who would just be like, oh yeah, I'm a really big YouTuber too. And they'd be like, oh my God, you too, please do this. I, I love you, insert name that I've just heard on the spot right here. And um, anyway, the reason that really like got to me is because, um, you know, like at one point I was doing like a big line because I just did like a big stage thing and a lot of people were like, oh, it's like Gats here, let's, let's like get some finger off him and like, uh, you know, like a signature or whatever. And I was like, okay, I'll do a long line. And then like they pushed the line outside into like 42 degrees Celsius heat, which is, I don't know, like 110 in Fahrenheit. It's, it was pretty hot for America. And uh, yeah, like it was like, I was out there like till I got like heated auction, just being like, okay, one more person. And it was always a little bit exhausting being like, you know what? I, 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 I really am like glad that I could meet all these people, but it feels like you didn't want to do this, that you just saw a line and figured that'd be kind of cool. And I, I never quite understood it, but it was just one of those things that I just, I just accepted about Minecon. So there you go. Uh, there's, there's the closest thing I have to a Minecon story. Uh, it bugged me the littlest bit, but I guess not too much. And that is just that. So yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to build this all the way to the top. I want to have like some form of like, you know, vision thing at the top. I know that's the least specific uh, description from me I've ever had, but I want to have like some form of tower at the top, like, I guess it's already a tower, but like at the top, have it expand a bit, so that, you know, there's more vision going on, because I'm going to have like some armor stands with some closest thing to sunglasses we have, I guess, um, you know, looking out, because I feel like that's probably a good investment, so we'll just, we won't go any higher, we'll use this as a basis to go further out, and we're just going to have it go a little bit further out, have like a watching post back here, and it should, I say should, because who knows, uh, look pretty good. So we'll do the same thing over here. Go five blocks out, and we're gonna do this. So yeah, there, there's, there's a close thing after Minecon story. I'm sorry. If you if you like that, I can tell you what I was up to this past week because I started watching. Uh, I, I watched a couple of TV shows. I watched all of Black Mirror like weeks ago now, but like I I watched a little bit of it again, and you know, still holds up top notch. But <laughs> it's funny. There's that real problem where like you know, there's a lot of things that you know you might like out there, but you have to go through so much you don't like. That you just end up like, you know, I'll watch that thing I like again. Like, let's watch that really cool YouTube video or whatever. Or in, you know, my case, like, I watched uh, a few, uh, an episode of Black Mirror again. But, um, yeah, so I also, though, started Westworld, which I know is an old TV show. But I have this big, okay, this is a philosophy, which if everyone does it, I feel like it kills TV shows. So I guess you can do it, but, you know, let, be on the down low about it. But if you like a TV show or you think you'll like a TV show, don't watch it when it's new. Don't watch it 
like when a season's just coming out, wait until the end of the season or wait until uh, a few seasons are out and then watch it because then you can get that binge going way better. Because it's the worst feeling in the world. Like everyone who watched Westworld when it first came out, like a year and a half ago, has been waiting since then. You know, like it, this is 18 months ago. People have had to wait since then just to, um, you know, obviously, oh geez. Um, just so they can get a, uh, sorry, I, 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 I like kind of blank on like, what? is going on here again because <laughs> all the, the the cobblestone is confusing but um yeah they've had to wait all this time just like oh what's going on there and game of thrones it's not coming out until 2019 you have to deal with like not knowing what's going on in that show for so long whereas if you've never watched it then even now i would say don't watch it yet i'd say wait a little bit or unless you want to watch like an episode a week which you don't want to do you want to watch three episodes a day for like a week and <laughs> just absorb yourself into it like that's a better way that's a more enjoyable way to watch a tv show it seems and i feel like yeah that's that's my pro tip i would share with you all like wait until a tv show is quite old um i i did have a show recently i won't share it because a lot of people like to spoil the show like i don't know why like there's a few shows like game of thrones people are really good at not spoiling that like insert thing that happened at the end of season seven really big deal you don't hear about it all the day, all the time. Whereas like Star Wars fans, little, you know, they're jerks. Like that whole Ben, no, who was it? Like Han Solo died or something. I, someone died in like episode seven, not eight, by the way. But yeah, whereas, um, you know, it seems like the show that I'm referencing, there's always someone who's just like, I want to share that. And I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure why some shows have good fans. You'd figure like there's always going to be someone who's a jerk for everything. But as it turns out, not for, insert, uh, sorry, not for Game of Thrones and not for a couple of other shows which I, I rather do like. So we need to go get some more stone. I've got cobblestone, which is great for the outside wall, but not really a bunch of house. So what we'll actually do, because I want to have some fences here, i.e. some uh, maybe regular fences, but probably iron bars. And then we'll have like a second row of cobblestone going along, just to make it look a bit more like a real fence with like multiple layers and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, one, one of the things I've been thinking about, so as well as just giving advice for watching TV shows, I want to follow up last week because the whole reason I was meant, I, I gave advice on like, oh yeah, if you work around the world, things go a bit better. The whole reason I mentioned that is because I see a bunch of runners and people signing up for the gym and stuff like that around this time of the year. And it makes you realize that like, you're not, everything like that is gonna go up in price and it's gonna be more crowded. Like uh, people who go to the gym every day hate the gym in January, right? Because it's always so crowded. So January is the month to be fat and lazy. I'm just saying, like, I'm gonna call it right, right now. Like it's probably not a good idea if you, you don't wanna be fat and lazy, but if you secretly want to, like if you're like me and you're like, you're not, uh, I, I, my, my whole goal of exercise is so I can be lazy later. Uh, then pro tip, January, top tier time. Uh, you know, Ben and Jerry's, I bet their sales go down a whole bunch. So, you know, they'll have some great sale on. Although, actually, I imagine they raised their prices in January because I saw it recently and it was like full price and it's never full price where I live. But, um, yeah, if you, if you work around the world, then cool stuff happens and just, I know it's like, um, oh, and Jan January is also the best time to buy, uh, stuff like to do with like cooling. So if you want to buy a fan, Now's the best time because no one's buying them. Um, it's stuff you need for summer. Buy it now also because you save a bunch of money. So there you go. Pro tips with Toy Cat. Just a small little thing. Life advice. Maybe you don't even need anything for summer. Maybe you live your life transiently. Or maybe like summer's a really long way away for you. I, I don't know how, you, how your life works. But I figured that'd be a, an interesting tip that you might not have known before. So we'll have that go all the way to the wall here. And then I also want to, I guess, have some... Oh, I need to have a way inside here. I guess we'll go in via under here. <laughs> and they'll make a staircase to the top, which will go via, uh, I guess it'll go via this way. So just uh, place some blocks. Probably could use some half slabs or something. It would, yeah, I should, I should have used half slabs, but here we are at the top regardless. We can finish this tower and then hopefully get the piston thing going too. I'd, I'd like to do the piston thing. Uh, so yeah, another thing, I, so what have I been thinking about this past week besides like, oh, what about those things I said last week? Cause I just wanted to add that on there. I really hate, one of the worst things in the world is when you've done something and you realize later you could have done it better or that you said something wrong. I think being wrong is one of the worst feelings. Like, I don't even know why it's such a bad feeling, but like admitting you're wrong as a human being is like, I feel like one of our hardest tasks to get through, right? Like, you know, I can, I can, you know, give birth to a child. I, I can't, by the way, I'm a guy. But you know, I, I'm making up examples like, but damn if I'll ever say I'm wrong. And there's a lot of people like that. They'll never, it is physically impossible to get them to admit they're wrong. And that's something, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you honestly. Wait, I'll be honest with you honestly. Yep, that's a phrase you can say. Trust trust me, I'm right. I, I said it, therefore it must be right. Yeah, you see what I'm doing there? But no, um, basically a lot of people, uh, most people, myself included, it's really hard to just admit you're wrong on something because you almost feel like, you know, for me in particular, it feels like, oh no, but I'm, 
that makes everything I've ever said like seem like it's more wrong. But I think that, I think the truthness of it is like you can trust someone who admits when they're wrong, because then you'll know that when they're not admitting they're wrong, that they're right. Whereas if you, if there's someone who is uh, not doing that, I need to get some wheat. But for some reason, I don't think I have any around here. We'll look around for it. We'll look around for it. Because I'm gonna go, go get some sheep and put them like in my tower post for now. Because I I know there was a sheep around here, and I want to take full of oh there's some, there's got ten wheat, so we're gonna try and drag some sheep all the way over there. Because I saw a sheep here earlier, right? And I want to take full advantage of that. I think I saw a sheep. Did we? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we're going to rank the sheep. Both of them right now. Just get them over there. Because it's like one of those tasks I should get done. Oh, that sheep's going to be impossible to move. Okay, no. We'll just move this one sheep then. And while I do that, I'll tell you about... Um, yeah, admitting you're wrong is this really hard thing. But I think it's like one of these like really important things to just get right. Like, even if it's not like admitting you're wrong for that. Because, you know... Maybe, maybe you're not always wrong, but just to be like, you know what, maybe the other person doesn't want to admit they're wrong. Maybe we can come to some compromise where they don't have to, or, you know, something like that. Because, um, yeah, the truth is, is like, human nature is super, super weird, right? I, I was thinking about this as to, like, because um, there's a lot of people have been discussing intelligence uh, recently, as I record this. As I, uh, so if you don't know, currently in Singapore, uh, but I'm recording this just before I go, so it's like a week ahead of time. Sorry if that ruins the illusion for you. I know, like, for a lot of people, like, everything has to be right now, right this moment. But, um, basically, as I, I recorded a Q&A yesterday where someone asked about intelligence. Um, and then I did follow up where someone asked about IQ. Also, this, you know, sheep here. This is, this is the worst thing. Okay. But then, uh, yes, yeah, so I did a... Oh, we can't go down the stairs, it seems. Or at least not the diagonal bits. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, because of that, it's been on my mind a lot, the whole, like, intelligence thing. And how some people... Uh, their intelligence works and whatnot, or whatever. And it, it's just one of those things where you realize that, um, you know, p people are built in these really bizarre ways where they're down to admit that, like, oh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know things about this subject or this subject. But there are certain things, because of the not willing to be, people are not willing to admit they're wrong, right? Where people just can't deal with that whatsoever. Like, no one can, there, there, if, if I tell you, like, right now, if I, if I ask you, what scientific element is, you know, uh, on the periodic table, that's the the heaviest, then you might actually know that. I, I don't actually know it by heart. But you'd be like, no, I don't know actually. Maybe I should look into that. Maybe I should ask a scientist. Yeah, like good idea. If I ask you, wait, what's 269 squared? You'll be like, uh, I don't actually know. You know I want to check it right now. Uh, 269 squared. Again, it'll, it'll come up in a second. And you know, in your head you're thinking like, oh, I don't know. If I, and if I give you two choices, you might then latch onto one. Like if I say, it's either 72,000 uh, 961 or 72,361 you might you might then have an idea and I think that's what it is actually is like if you have no choices it's really hard for you to so we're gonna put the sheep in just a hole in the ground I think like right here just dig down here you go sheep sheep I made you a hole sheep sheep <laughs> I hate sheep so much I think this would be like a 20 second thing and this is this has been the last two minutes of my life but um, yeah, if I, if I give you two choices, you might then like immediately one of those might sound right to you. And I think that's what, what it must be is like, you know, when there's like, when people put it, it's like a simple thing of like, there's two issues and, or there's two sides and the other side, well, those people are in certain thing. You don't want to be here. Can sheep not fall down holes anymore? Like what's, what's going wrong here? What? <laughs> Am I just, is it, it's okay. So we'll dig it. We'll dig, dig a second hole. There you go. So now the sheep is safe. We'll light him up. And other sheep will stay in there, and we can bring Matt later because again, I'm, I'm going to need at least a couple of starting sheep. So we got we got that sorted now, and uh, yeah, we need some more stone, which we don't have, but we need the pistons first, which I can now make because I've got all the good resources, I believe. Uh, so I want to have ten pistons, like five up, five down. So let's go make those now, and let's get this piston door working. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we ran out of wood, interestingly, which I can just make more. Okay, so there we go, ten pistons. Uh, if you use sticky pistons, I, I don't know how that would work, but I can't imagine it would be good. Because I've tried doing sticky pistons next to sticky pistons before. I think they break Minecraft console right now. That's that's my uh, take on the matter, at least. So we want to have these then facing up. And then, like, across from that, have them facing down. And this can be, like, my maximum security door. It's not actually very secure, I guess, technically. But the idea is that it'll look like it's maximum security door. And this is going to be its default position. Or it's not default, it's, like, unlock position. And then obviously we can hook some redstone up down there. Or it's going to be tricky because there's like a lake right here. But <laughs> we're going to try and hook some redstone up at least. 
Okay, it's going to be one of the hardest things to do because of that. So, we'll throw some wood here. Yeah, wood seems like a, a fair resource to put down there. So, wood, 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 wood. And then we can dig underneath this whole thing. Okay, place some more wood there. And then we just need to place some redstone down there. And then it will place redstone on top of the pistons as well. And then we can have this, like, mega... Okay, so we'll put some more wood here as well. This is this is trickier than I figured it would be. But it's fine. I've got this. I like a challenge. Not that, like, placing pistons should be a challenge. And, yeah, then we want to have... Actually, we want to leave these blocks in place. And only go to the right of them. We'll put different blocks there in a second. And then down here, we'll have redstone. Actually, we need to have redstone repeaters, don't we? Going into each of those blocks. Wait, no. How is this working? I think I want to have... Put blocks back here. Yeah, that's my that's my floor ceiling level, so I need to remove this block. I was right. I was reading the wrong layer. We'll throw some wood down here, because I guess wood is going to be my, my redstone block, so I can see what's to do with redstone and what's not. We'll put repeaters down there. Uh, oh, no, repeaters down on the block I'm on right now. So we'll put wood there as well. And then the redstone will go back here. And then that can be sorted. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. I know redstone's like a, a tricky matter to properly discussing these sorts of things but it's 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 gonna be a fun one here so then we'll place some wood back in here go all the way along here go back to there and we, we can make a lever or a button or something i guess we need a lever because we want it to be like on off all the way not just like kind of half the way so grab a lever pick that up instead of this we'll put the lever on the wall back here so i'll dig out the block just so i know where that is and then place a thing here Hook this up to the redstone, which I can do like that. And now we can have the bomb half, or at least like two of the pistons, hooked up to the lever, just so you can see it working. I want to get all of this done before we go. And uh, yeah, basically my point being is like some issues, people are just really bad at, um, really bad at knowing like what they know about a thing, I guess. Okay, this is the wrong layer, as it turns out. There we go. We got two pistons up. It's like the worst door in the world because it keeps you secure in the least <laughs> practical and usable way ever. But still. It's something, it's something. And we can obviously secure this with stone and make it kind of hidden away. And now we just need to make that run to the top and get some repeaters. I don't actually know how you make repeaters. I think it's two redstone torches. And we're going to use up all our redstone though. It's the key thing there. So we'll deal with that when we come to it, which will be in a few seconds actually. <laughs> so we have to have... Um, can you make redstone go through a block? I believe you can, right? Uh, I, I mean, that's, that's what I'm relying on right here. We'll have the redstone go through that block, if it works that way, which I'm going to have to just hope for now it does. Uh, it's been a while since I played redstone, so it's kind of fun to uh, to get back into it, I guess. So this is the row for pistons, and that's where the pistons are there. So up there is the row of those pistons. So if I want to make it go onto the pistons, I'd have to have the pistons activate up there somehow. So we'll work our way down from that until we get to... On top of that, we may... Okay, so if we make this a half slab, which we can do, easy stuff, we need half slabs anyway, then suddenly everything will just magically work. Except we need to leave that in place, but whatever. We'll get to that in a second. Let's do this. I'm doing Redstone Survival for the first time, and it's really fun. I've said this before, but trying out new things in Minecraft, like, it's... A lot of people just are like, you know, I've done the same thing for so long, and, you know, I'm kind of bored of it. And it's like, you know, the pro tip, if you're doing the same thing and it bores you, is to make things up. Minecraft, in particular, is a game filled with so much you can do. Like, I've been playing for five years, and every now and then I'm like, ah... Oh, haven't done that before. Like, grass pathway blocks, I'd never actually used them before until two weeks ago, and a week ago, you know, last, the, the previous episode, because it was just like, oh yeah, well, I, I mean, just has, hasn't come up right. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of funny how many things like that there are, and like, oh yeah, survival redstone, I haven't done this since, I think, like, one, a very long time, because I always do in creative, because to show it off on videos, it's like, well, I mean, it makes sense doing in creative, that's just the easiest place to do it, right? Um, but yeah, that's a, a really bizarre little um, assumption to make. So we need to make a bunch of repeaters, like at least four, probably, or at least three, probably four. So we need eight torches for that then. And then we need some stone, which I don't have yet, but we will have in a second. And how much stone do we need if we're going to make some repeaters? We need to have 24 stone. That'll actually take a little bit of time to do, but again, we'll do it. It will be good. Let's do this. Actually, I think it'd be 12 stone because I'm having eight repeaters. So we'll wait till we can go to sleep, or maybe we'll, we'll do a little bit of a talk and just, uh, you know, chill, chill and look at the, the farm. Ch look at the dog that probably at some point was a murderer that I just tamed to get rid of them. Um, but yeah, let, let me talk about um, something else I was uh, thinking about to do with the whole... 
I guess, honestly, it's the, the humans thing. Because, like, humans, we're really bad at issues where it seems like there's only two sides. You, you want to know the right side. I don't know why, but, like, people always just assume, like, oh, yeah, well, not knowing isn't an option. I have to just pick a side, and when you're picking a side, you just pick based on random arbitrary criteria. Cr criteria? Yeah, criteria. Like, oh, yeah, well, I mean, like, uh, I don't know. I don't like someone on that side or, like, uh, something, something, this, that. Like, really bad decisions is my point being here. Is what we tend to do. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know why that is. I still think, like, that's that's how, like, politics as a thing is discussed. And that's how some issues, even if they're nothing to do with politics, it's a political issue if there's two sides of it. And for some reason, both sides are just ridiculous because they don't even think of their own thoughts. They just, like, um, you know, they, they focus on not being the other side more than being their own selves. And this is true of so many things on the internet. Like, think about, um, I, I hope this is something you don't have to deal with, but, you know, the whole feminism debate thing where it's just, like, even if you, it, there's some subjects, even if you mention them, people will just explode. <laughs> like literally explode in some case. I mean, not literally explode. Literally explode would mean that they have some, you know, like some chemical reactions going on and like a few. But, you know, what's actually going on is, uh, you know, they're like, oh, how dare you do that? Um, said it before like five times. Now I'll say it for the sixth time. But I lost a friend just because, um, you know, like he, we had a differing view on something and he was like, oh, well, I'd rather just not have friends that believed in that side of an argument. And it's like, well, I mean, uh, you know, see how that works out for you, I guess. Um, I know, I feel like that's that's what I mean. Like there needs to be maturity being like, you know, either there's a lot of things that it's hard to say and do as humans, like, um, you know, admitting you're wrong really hard, admitting you disagree on something and that's okay. Really hard. Some people, and I'll admit I was kind of like this, like, uh, I, I don't think that we both have to agree on something, but I think we should understand why we disagree on something. Generally, like, that's my view I take with people. So I need to have this be the top half of the slab. So if we do that, and we place that, and we want to get rid of this, then suddenly we can place redstone, it goes both ways. And now we'll check if it goes through the wall. Because I don't think it, like, I think there's weird, I forget how you even do it. I think it has to be a repeater on one side, maybe. Yeah, but for some reason, either I placed it on the wrong layer, or the redstone's not powering up for other reasons. But we have to work out what that is. So it's like the fifth block up, or something. I'm not sure how to use that. But we're going to troubleshoot that, and also get our redstone repeaters going. Because I think I do need to have just a repeater going into the wall. And if I have a repeater going into the wall, that makes my redstone circuit a whole bunch more complex. But again, that's fine. So we'll place this there. Oh, that's that's definitely going to make things worse. I don't, <laughs> don't know how that would possibly improve things. So we'll break this block in the wall just to check we're on the right layer. Okay, we are. But again, I, I think it has to be a repeater going in or like a torch on one side or something along those lines. Did I try that actually? If we put like a redstone torch here. Again, it's kind of cool. Like I, I like the whole aspect of like learning this sort of thing by yourselves. Like sometimes it's good to look it up, but sometimes you just like want to be interesting to learn what's going on here. So yeah, I think repeater is now my best option, which creates a whole confusion as to like, how should I do that? But again, that's fine. Uh, so then we'll get some real cobblestone going up here, place that along there. And now this should work if we can put a repeater at the end. It might not work, it might just create the ugliest redstone loop in the world, which I admit entirely like this is just what this is. But I think if we put a redstone repeater through that, it goes through the block. Or maybe I'm just thinking of something else and anyone who knows redstone is like, it's okay. This hurts. Please don't ever do redstone again. Uh, but good news, because of the redstone issues, we get an extra long Let's Play episode. So, you know, there's, there's a little bit of good in every bad. I've used that before, like, like the, the yin-yang concept of, like, yeah, there's, there's good and bad, there's bad and good. It's something that's, I guess, important to believe in. Because it makes, uh, I don't know, it makes everything a bit more bearable when you realize that, like, oh, yeah, there's not just really terrible things that kill you from the inside out and there's, like, good things. You know, there's... There's things that are in between. There's things that don't care. There's neutral things. In fact, I set up a, you know, what I've been up, been up to. Uh, a little side note. This is getting really, really messy now, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I need to fix this when I'm done. Um, aha! It does work that way. It is a repeat. I don't know how, like, redstone, why redstone does that. But apparently it does. And there we go. Okay, so now the test of fate is if we can actually undo it as well as do it. You know? Like, being able to do it is interesting. But being able to undo it is just as important. Oh my gosh. Okay, it broke the redstone. But besides that, we're doing pretty good. So, I guess bug fix for Jay. Uh, redstone dragged up by pistons. Unless that's intentional. Is that? Okay, so usually I, I was about to say, like, chat, can you help me out? Because uh, this is one thing where it's like, you know, that's just like, I knew what I should be doing and then it didn't work. 
But we have a at least functional system. Now we should have to cover it up. Which we'll do with like, I want to say cobblestone. Uh, I think stone bricks would look slightly nicer personally, but... Uh, I th you know, we'll we use cobblestone. We'll use cobblestone. Or cobblestone half slabs even. Make it even less likely to infer. Just cover this entire... Oh, no, that's not good. Just cover this entire area with those. And now we've got ourselves a functional, in theory at least, or like a functionally looking little area. And there you can see, now we've got the entrance to our little prison. I think it looks pretty good for a... Or like, not looks pretty good. I think it's like a pretty good basis on which we can build. And that's all I really care about, and that's what I'm really excited about. So yeah, uh, I guess maybe next week we should work on the prison some more. Honestly, I'll, I guess I'll see what like you think of this. Do you want to see more of this? Or do you think, like, Toy Cat, you building redstone is the most painful thing, and it makes me want to commit seppuku? If, if that's you, love to hear your comments about that too. Because I think, again, another thing, like, because some people don't like to admit they're wrong, ever, I think a lot of people get into the habit of only surrounding themselves with people who say good things to bad things. And I think I like people who say... Like, I've said this before, like, if you're positive, if you're, if you're nice to me, that's, that's the key characteristic I like and so on. But I mean, it's also important to sometimes at least see what the other side is saying. Um, I guess in relation to the things I meant earlier, but also just in relation to this. So, now we're going to have a flat top for this. So, I'll go in like this. Yeah, we'll just have, like, a flat top and then maybe have, like, a little button on the top or, like, a thing poking out. I'm not even sure what we'll do here. But yeah, this, this should be... Oh good, this should be my guard tower. We're gonna have some glass, by the way, in those gaps. In case you can't tell what's going on there, that's why that is the like that. It's not just a weird, like, <laughs> uh, filling in the gap thing. Oh, and also, I guess I need to deal with all this cobblestone on the inside. But again, after we've dealt with this up here, then we can deal with that down there. And then we can say we finished our first guard tower and our first little thing. So we'll go all the way across here too. All the way across there. I hope I have enough, like, stone lying around. Okay, I do, got another stack. Oh, in case you're curious, by the way, uh, people always ask, every single episode I do this, like, how did you do that magic, like, grabbing something from your inventory? Uh, it's using, uh, it's called Pick Block. You can set it to any key you like. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? So, yeah, now we go in here. Gonna remove the cobblestone, because it was just a building block. And I need this probably later anyway. And then we also want to fill in the gaps, I guess. Which is currently being filled in by cobblestone. Uh, with this right here. So there we go. Now we fill in the gaps, and it looks like a real structure. We just need to have some glass there now, and this can be the watchtower, which in theory is watching down on all the angles. I'll put some armor stands in here to scare the sheep, make sure they don't want to leave, because they'll feel like they were trapped or something. And maybe that's scary, maybe that's like sheep torture, but you're not better them than us, right? Or something terribly uh, fought out along those lines. <laughs> so yeah, I, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of the Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. I, I, I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I always read the comments here because, generally speaking, again, they're less transient viewers or, like, people who don't make sense. I don't know what to describe them as, but, like, maybe it's, like, really young people. Maybe it's people who can't... I, I know, people who, like, sometimes, like, if you speak in, like, extra bad grammar and you don't have a point to your comment, like, I assume, like, either young or, like, probably not a good idea. But when it comes to the Let's Plays, there's a lot of, like, really cool people who watch this, and I'm like, ah, yeah, that's... Like, you added something back, and I, I, I'm, maybe I'm just, like, being too nice to you right now. So, I'll say something mean. Uh, I don't like your hair today. I think it looks pretty ugly. Should have done a better job of it. There you go. Now I made things better. <laughs> I've drowned out the compliment I just gave you of an insult. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like if you liked it. Share if you really liked it. Uh, and go fix your hair. Jeez. Bye.